In this video, I'll be taking the init.lua from the kickstart nvim repo, a launching point for your personal nvim configuration, and convert it from using packer nvim to using a new plugin manager called lazy nvim. So let's first take a look at our current init.lua file. You could see at the top that kickstart uses packer as its plugin manager, and there are numerous plugins listed. Some are simple and others are a little bit more complex. The current config does not leverage any type of lazy loading optimizations, although Packer does support this feature. Okay, so before we migrate to lazy.nvim, let's take a baseline of startup time. We'll make a log of all the startup time details, exit NeoVim, and then output the last five lines of the log. Okay, so that took about 212 milliseconds, but that was just one run. It'd be nice if we could run several and average them. So let's install a tool called Hyperfine, which is a command line benchmarking tool. Now we'll tell Hyperfine to run NeoVim headless and immediately quit. And we'll have it warm up by exercising five runs before the actual benchmark. Okay, so the average was 198 milliseconds. Let's do that again and save the output to compare for later. Now we're ready to start migrating. We'll open NeoVim and navigate to the root init.lua file. First, we'll want to remove the code at the beginning that downloads Packer if it's not installed. We'll replace that chunk of code with a snippet from the lazy.nvim repo to do the same thing, install lazy if it's not installed. You can click the copy button from GitHub and paste that into your init.lua file. Lazy does require that you set up your leader key before we set up Lazy so that your mappings will be correct, so let's do that now. I'll grab this paragraph and move it right after the conditional install of Lazy. Okay, now let's replace the Packer require with Lazy, and Packer becomes Lazy, Startup becomes Setup, and the function argument will now be a Lua table. Ah, we should also probably remove the packer.mvim reference immediately below. Before we proceed, let's fix the ending of the setup. Instead of end, that should be a closing curly brace. Now we're going to do some search replace within the Lua table. So I'll highlight that chunk of code, hop to the top, and initially I want to replace the straightforward use calls. I'll match the use and capture the GitHub location, then replace that with only the location with a trailing comma and have it confirm each match. All right, now let's focus on the more complex use calls. For these, I'll search for use, then create a macro that will delete until the opening curly brace, flip to the matching curly brace, append a comma, and escape. Then I'll find the next match and apply the macro again and again and again, and I'm done. At the end, there are several lines of code that aren't needed anymore, so we could just remove those as well. And there are a couple paragraphs we don't need after the setup. Okay, we aren't quite done yet, but almost. There are some keys in Packer that don't exist in Lazy, but thankfully there are equivalents that we could replace. So let's highlight the Lua table again, and we'll replace requires with dependencies and change those. Let's reselect the table again, and we'll replace run with build and change those. OK, one more change, but it's not a simple search and replace. Packer had a key called after that indicated plugins to load before that plugin. So here, we'll add a dependency key to the nvim tree sitter and move this plugin there instead. Okay, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's save the file and... Ah, what? What is this huge error? Well, we have a conflict with Packer and all the changes we just made. Thankfully, Lazy is here to help you. You can run the check health lazy command and it shows me that I have some Packer stuff lingering. So I'll exit to the terminal and take care of those. I'll remove the Packer folder and then remove the packer compiled.lua file. Then we'll launch NeoVim again, and then type the lazy command, which will bring up a nice UI showing the status of our plugins. Pressing a capital S will sync, 
which installs, cleans, and updates plugins. And we can see that it updated lazy.invim from a commit four hours ago. You could press a capital L for logs of past actions, and you could press a capital P to see a profile of plugins loading. Pressing Control S will change the view from chronological to time taken, and you could toggle it back and forth. And Control F will let you filter down the plugins that took longer than a specified time. We'll say 10 milliseconds. And in this case, it was only the NVIM CMP plugin. Now let's exit and run our hyperfine tool for another benchmark now that we're using lazy.nvim. And that took an average of 126 milliseconds. If we output our previous packer time, it was 218 milliseconds, which is a nice speed increase. And we didn't even use any special lazy tricks. Before we move on to showing other ways to extend lazy, add new plugins, and add lazy loading techniques, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. It helps a lot. Thanks. Okay, so let's add a new folder under NVIM called Lua slash plugins. And we'll make an entry point of init.lua inside that folder. Now we'll launch NeoVim, navigate to our root init.lua file, and replace all the contents inside the setup call, and instead pass a string of plugins, which under the covers will load the contents from the Lua slash plugins slash init.lua file. So let's switch to the new file that we just touched earlier. And we'll type return and paste the contents that we captured earlier, our huge Lua table. Now if we save and close and reopen NeoVim, it'll work just as it did before. But we are slowly starting to pull things out that are plugin related into a different location. OK, so now let's go a bit further. Using the technique that we just updated, Lazy will also look for any other Lua files in that folder and automatically merge them into the main plugin specification. So let's create a new file called alpha.lua. I'll paste a bit of code in here. This is a module that defines the alpha plugin, defines its dependencies, and the config function that will be executed when the plugin loads, where it can set up the plugin. Once I save the file, Lazy already recognizes the file, and I can run the lazy command and see that it knows about my addition. And there are two plugins that are ready to be installed. I'll go ahead and type capital I to go ahead and install them. Now, if I quit and restart, you'll see the alpha dashboard plugin running. OK, it's time to try another new plugin. But this time, I'll do a little bit of lazy loading. We'll create a new file called neo-tree.lua in our plugins folder. Here, I'll paste in another chunk of code defining the NeoTree plugin. In this case, some things to note that are different are branch, which will look for new commits from that branch of the repo, CMD, which will lazy load the plugin in case it sees the NeoTree command being used, and keys, which will also lazy load the plugin if it sees the key map leader FT being used. The other thing that is slightly different is that config is a Lua table here and not a function. If you use a table, then lazy will automatically require it and pass the table to the plugin's setup function. And once we save it, lazy recognizes our change. And as before, we'll call the lazy command, and it sees that there are plugins to install. And we'll install them with capital I. Now we'll exit and restart NeoVim. But the NeoTree plugin has not loaded yet until we press leader FT, for example. And we can toggle it by pressing leader FT again. OK, the last thing we'll do is start to clean up our init.lua files just a little bit and pull out common things. So let's open our plugins init.lua file and find the lua line plugin, which is a nicer status line. And we'll delete that line and create a new file called lua line.lua in our plugins folder. In this file, we'll return a new lua table and paste the repo of the plugin. Then we'll create a config function that will be executed after the plugin's loaded. But for that, we'll need to grab the contents from our root init.lua file that came from kickstart and vim. Here, we'll search for a lua line and delete the paragraph of setup information. And we'll move back over to our new lua line.lua file and paste that into the config function. As I mentioned before, I could have also set config to a lua table with these options since I'm only calling setup. 
but either way, it should work the same. All right, so if we save all, quit, and restart NeoVim, everything should work as it did before, but we are slowly starting to pull out our plugin configuration into separate files. There's so much more to learn about lazy.nvim. I highly encourage you checking out the repo and looking through all the features. Thank you for watching. Also, I'm curious what you think about Lazy. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time.